is his body. And since we have a great high priest over the house of God, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. You see, we need to live our lives as if what Christ has done is finished. The sacrifices in the Old Testament are a dead way. Our efforts are a dead way. They never end. They will never fulfill. They will always promise, but they can never deliver. Christ's way instead is the living way. Now, there are many things that we might do in our lives over and over and over again, and we long for relief from them. And very occasionally, we come across something like this, something at which we just have one shot. But it's actually not something that we've done. But its rarity makes it extremely valuable. And that is Christ's once offered, finished, permanent sacrifice. Let's bow our heads. Gracious Father, thank you for words of life. Thank you for the writer of Hebrews who offers us words of hope and life in this world and of hope and life in the world to come. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, Simon. While we are holy and set apart, we actually live in an imperfect world. Um, And we know ourselves that we get things wrong every day. And so that's why it's a great time now to come and confess those things before God. Uh, We're going to do that uh, in a communal confession on the overhead. Um, And it's a time when we think communally about uh, our relationship and what that means with God. Let's pray. Our God, our Father in heaven, we confess to you our failure to live as children of your grace and heirs of your promise. When we make this world's goods our treasure and are mindless of your kingdom and your reward, in your mercy, forgive us and help us. When we forget that here we have no enduring city and fail to look for the city which is to come. Father, forgive us and help us. When we measure our worth by the standards of this passing age and reject your eternal truth in your mercy, Father, forgive us and help us. When we lose the vision of Christ and no longer run to win the prize of your calling to heaven, In your mercy, forgive us and help us. When we are thoughtless and do not treat with respect or care the wonderful world you have made, then, Father, in your mercy, forgive us and help us. When we store up goods for ourselves alone as if there were no God and no heaven, then, Father, in your mercy, together, grant us thankful hearts and a loving concern for all people, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. We're going to join in singing um, once I've prayed this. Merciful Lord, you have granted your faithful people pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins. Show us how to serve you with a quiet heart, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please stand, we're going to sing Grace Waiting Me. Um, Simon's pointed out we don't know this one, so if you know I will it, sing see please. The world to come. Otherwise, we'll listen. The one has suffered in my place. Now there is grace awaiting me, awaiting me. Judgment's done.
Grace is amazing. You can tell that Simon and I aren't the normal light, te light technicians, can't you? Here you go again. Okay. Oh, there you go. There we go. Oh, yeah, God's grace is amazing. Um, and it's on God's grace we throw ourselves and appeal to his grace because it's only through his grace we're actually made right through Jesus. Uh, we're going to have a time of prayer now and Alex is going to lead us. Thanks, Alex. Brothers and sisters, let's um, come before um, our amazing God in prayer. Our Father of heavenly lights, from whom every perfect gift comes from above, this world, Lord, your creation, is rolled into a sphere packaged in sunshine, gift-wrapped in love, and given to us. Thank you, God. You are our creator, sustainer, and saviour. Your glory and majesty are beyond all our understanding. Your blessing, Father, is in everything that we see around us, from the fruitful harvest to the flowing valley creeks, Gunnedar sunrise, sunset, lightning and rain. In knowing you, Lord, how can we ever be the same? Lord, our hearts break when we fall back into sin and we know, Lord, that sin grieves you and we are so sorry. So we're reminded from your word in Hebrews this morning, Christ's sacrifice gives us a relationship with you. We praise you for being a God who will forgive us when we come to you with repentant hearts. And we're sorry in this season of Advent. Lord, we're sorry that we get too busy, too rushed, too consumed we're sorry, Lord, when we think of the material things of this world first, when we seek the created things rather than the creator. We're sorry, Lord, for making things about ourselves rather than about you. And we're sorry when we are blind to see that the most precious gifts that we can give to each other cannot be wrapped with ribbons and paper. Father, forgive us. Lord, we know that you came to bring peace and yet we do fill our lives with stress. And this month really is about your son, Jesus, not about us. And we say sorry, God. And Father, thank you so much for the knowledge that in your son, we have all that we need. Thank you for this precious season of Advent, that Jesus' birth, we see so clearly your love, your grace, your mercy, and your ultimate forgiveness. Thank you, God, that we're able to share this exact message at the recent Gunnedah Community Carols. Thank you, Lord, for good weather, for um, the Christian unity enjoyed through the ministers fraternal. And we thank you in particular for David and Simon, the army of helpers, which you so faithfully raised up to make the carols happen. And you saw that both up the front and behind the scenes. Lord, thank you so much for your word and time in the book of Genesis this term. You've been so clearly at work in the hearts and minds of growing our growth groups Thank you, Lord, for each and every child in our playgroup ministry, our kids' church ministry. And Lord, at this time of year, let our hearts overflow with praise and thanksgiving as we say, we see you, Lord, in everything and we thank you. And lastly, Father, we do ask for ourselves and bring before you our needs. We do pray for our planned Christmas services and our community outreach events. Bless these ministries, Lord, with smooth running with heartfelt, genuine connection and a sense that your church here in Gunnedah loves those in our community and that none are forgotten by you, Lord, 
or your people. Help us, God, not only to be readers of your word this summer, but believers and doers. Lord, please increase our faith as we daily rely on you. We bring before you those, Lord, in need, um, both listed in our In Touch news sheet and those in our hearts. You see the needs of these uh, brothers and sisters, these people, and we pray for the peace of Christ to live in all of our hearts together. And we pray especially by name for Joan Arlington. Lord, we praise you for our brother Frank Foster, who's recovering well and here with us today. Thank you, Jesus. We do pray for Wendy, for Julie, Fiona, Marge, Millie, Rena, for Kay, Brian and Lorna, Natalie, Malcolm and Barry. And God, we do ask for your word to dwell richly within us. Cause us to invest in treasures that will last into eternity. May the wonder of your son Jesus capture all our hearts today, this Christmas and forevermore. Lord, we say these prayers as your people, knowing that you hold us tightly in the palm of your hand, once and for all. Amen. Thanks, Alex. Take your pink sheet out. Notice it's time, folks. So there are a few different things happening. So no, particularly over... So next Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we have services each day. So 7 o'clock Christmas Eve and then 9 a.m. Uh, Yep, Saturday, and then 9am church service Sunday, which means we combine, doesn't it? Thanks, yep. So just, just make sure you remember those dates especially. Um, there are other dates there on the calendar to note, uh, and particularly staff away. So uh, Dave's away at the moment, and we'll be back on Monday. Yeah, Monday? Monday, yeah, the 19th. And then um, Simon's away from the 27th, and Jen, I presume, as well to the 18th, <laughs> taking it with it, yeah, good, good move, uh, to the 18th. Um, uh, the office uh, will be closed from the 24th uh, and reopens on the 12th. Um, so if you're doing, if you're on church rosters, you might sort of get things, creeds, confessions, those sort of things done and dusted early in the piece so everyone knows what's happening. That would be also good as well. Uh, there's accommodation a request there uh, if you know anyone, you might um, talk to Simon about that after. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, adult volunteers. So to give our Sunday school leaders a break during uh, school holidays, um, uh, if normally when we do a kids spot, we'll send the kids out with parent helpers. So if you're non-Sunday school teacher, but you're a parent helper and you're able to do that, can you also talk to Simon about being on a bit of a list to, to go out and do that, just to give our Sunday school teachers a break so they're not doing it all term as well as in the school holidays as well. Um, and remember our, um, uh, uh, what else, our uh, yeah, safe ministry training, which occur occurs every three years or so. I can't remember where I'm up to. I've got to check my want to go home as well uh, to see what's happening. Uh, we need to be, to, in order to do a ministry work, we need to have our safe ministry training up to date. Otherwise, we're not able to lead. Um, it's a law requirement. So check when you're, when, what's happening, where you're up to, whether you need a refresher course or whether you need an initial course. Um, we are going to sing again. Jesus, be strong and kind. Uh, you might also, when you're praying during the week, pray for our pregnant ladies. So Trish and Jen actually are sitting almost together up there. Uh, you might... Bear them in, in our prayers, particularly hot weather. Um, I'm a February baby myself, and I have stories of my mother about yeah, the heat of getting close. And yeah, so think about them in your prayers.
No one else can be my strength I should come to Him For the Lord is good and faithful He will keep us day and night We can always run to Jesus Jesus strong should come to Him. No one else can be my shield. I should come to Him. For the Lord is good and faithful. He will keep us day and night. We can always run to Jesus. the question at the start, you know what things do we do repeatedly, and I was talking about my old Land Cruiser, I keep putting oil in because I keep using oil. Ultimately though, I'm going to have to pay a price one day and have that fixed on a permanent basis. Um, the engine pulled down, rebuilt, um, and there's a cost involved in that. It's a bit like the cost that uh, Jesus has paid for us. Um, the Old Testament was doing sacrifices, animal sacrifices, to show that sin needed to be paid for, but ultimately Christ's death Paid, that, paid for that in a permanent way that we're acceptable to God. And we should go today knowing that we are acceptable to God through Jesus' death on the cross for us and be confident in that. I'm going to close with our, our uh, vision prayer. So bow with me as we pray. Heavenly Father, please be at work in our community, opening many hearts to the gospel and using us to shine as a light for you. We ask that many would be drawn to Jesus in repentance and faith, becoming established among his people. Please compel us with Christ's love to strengthen us in our prayer and witness. Give us courage to speak and faithfulness to persevere. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Just remember to take what you have out with you as you go, and we'll see you morning tea. <laughs>